For years, Peter Merklein assumed his heart was working normally. They had done uh, echo, echocardiograms and things like that, and they were always clean. Until he visited the Mayo Clinic three years ago, when he signed up for a separate research project on a whim. But in the process... I did have an AFib. AFib. I actually had it. Atrial fibrillation, a type of irregular heart rhythm that can lead to stroke or even death a condition they were only able to find with the help of artificial intelligence. AI is giving our tools superpowers. Superpowers that boost old school tests like the electrocardiogram or ECG. So here's how it works. All of these wires get taped to your chest and then it sends electrical signals from your heart to a screen like this. But here's the twist. AI then analyzes all of this data and shows us conditions that perhaps even doctors can miss. It's very, very good at this deep pattern recognition. So it's finding the details. It's finding incredible detail. The AI uses data across thousands of tests to detect subtle patterns that a doctor looking at a single test may not be able to catch, like a weak heart pump, irregular rhythm, and nearly a dozen other heart conditions that could lead to sudden cardiac arrest. So all of these treatments that are available are improved if we can detect conditions sooner. One clinical trial finding AI increased the diagnosis of a weak heart pump by 32%. And new research suggests it can detect potentially fatal heart conditions in at-risk groups, from student athletes to pregnant women. So who has this technology right now? We have been using it in our practice at Mayo Clinic for about a year and a half, two years. I expect it to be available widely around the country and globally in the next two years or so. And they're making it even more accessible sooner. With special AI stethoscopes like these, the doctors can carry with them everywhere. So we decided to try one out. Okay, so I'll just put it on your chest like so. And are we okay. listening to my heart? And so now we're starting to see your heart signal. Good news, your heart pump strength is normal. Okay. Normally, to identify that, we would need an imaging study, an ultrasound of your heart called an echocardiogram, a CT scan, or an MRI scan. At the end of the day, this sounds like it could be a game changer. It's changing how we practice medicine. For people like Peter Merklein, after his diagnosis, he was put on blood thinners and other medication. Do you think this technology saved your life? Yes, it definitely could have, because who knows when I would have been discovered. I live 20 miles out of town. So for me to get into the ER right there is a half hour trip, you know, so would I survive something like that? Probably not. So this, this worked out well for me. And you just think of all the people, especially in places like rural communities, who could benefit from this. I mean, pretty soon, researchers say that you could even apply this very same technology to data that's coming from your smart watch. So they're doing studies as we speak, using AI to read the heart monitoring data from your Apple Watch to see if it can actually screen for some of those very serious conditions we talked about without you ever having to leave home. Wow. Just to think that AI can get a closer look than your own doctor mm -hmm. can and analyze right. quicker is pretty incredible. And give wow. it a starting point. Yeah. Think about how much money you would save, yes. you know, not having to start with an expensive CD yeah. or right. MRI right. scan, right? Sounds good. Great. All right, thank you. Morgan, thank you. Yeah, yeah Morgan, Morgan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.